worksheet number 4c homework question question number 1 part a part 1 complete the table for the sixth term of each sequence so we need to fill in this value and this value so what is happening over here 7 plus 6 is 13 then 13 plus 10 is 23 then 23 plus 14 is 37 then plus 18 then we'll get the next term by by adding 22 here so the answer will be 55 plus 22 which is 77 okay. what is happening over here times 3 then times 3 then times 3 then times 3 and then times 3 so 81 times 3 is 243 which is the answer part 2 find the nth term of sequence a so we added 6 then we added 10 then 14 then 18 and so on so here the difference is 4 then 4 then 4 and so on so this is a quadratic sequence also called second level common difference so for its n term we need a formula in terms of a n square plus b n plus c a is this value divided by 2 so a is 2 n square next we need the value of b and c so for that we write the original sequence again 7 13 23 37 55 you may not write all the numbers you can write first three numbers that will suffice and then subtract minus 2 n square or subtract 2 n square from this so for 2 n square the first term is 2 and since we're subtracting we'll write minus 2 the second term for 2n square will be 2 times 2 square which is 8 so I'll write minus 8 over here then 2 times 3 square is minus 18 then 2 times 4 square is minus 32 then 2 times 5 square is 50 when we subtract these we get 5 here then again 5 5 5 5 so the nth term will simply be 2n square because of this and the nth term of this final line that we get is 5 because the first term is 5, the third term is 5, so all the terms will be 5. So the nth term will also be 5. So this is the answer for 2a. Part 2, part b find the nth term of sequence b so this is times 3 then again times 3 then again times 3 so exponential sequence exponential sequence nth term is a times r n minus 1 where a is the first term r is the common ratio which is 3 power n minus 1 so the final answer is 3 power n minus 1 clearing screen part b 1 the nth term of another sequence is 4n square plus n plus 3. Find the second term. So the second term will simply be 4 2 square plus 2 plus 3. The answer is this 21. Clearing screen for the second part. Part 2 is the value of n when the nth term is 498 so we're given the nth term so 4n square plus n plus 3 is equals to 498 so we need to find the value of n this is a quadratic equation rearrange and you will get minus 495 here we need to do middle term breaking so multiplication should give us 4 times minus 495 so that is 19 minus 1980 and addition should give us plus one so you may use your calculator to figure this out and since it's a little 
tricky you can always do uh, prime factorization of 1980 and which is 2 times 990 then 2 times 495 then divide by 2 and we get 165 then divide with 3 get 55 then divide by 5 get 11 and then divide by 11 to get 1 now which combination should we use we can use 3 times this was 3 as well sorry so 3 times 3 times 5 gives us 45 and 11 times 2 times 2 gives us 44 so I'm going to use this uh, negative with 44 and positive with 45 this will give us plus 1 so the factors are plus 45 and minus 44 n here and n here minus 495 is equals to 0 uh, only n is common here so take n common 4n plus 45 then negative 11 is common and we're left with 4n plus 45 is equals to 0 solve this we get n is equals to 11 or n is equals to minus 45 over 4 the negative value can't be the number of term so the answer is simply n is equals to 11 the 11th term of this sequence is equals to 498 you may check that by substituting 11 instead of n so 4 11 square 4 times 11 square plus 11 plus 3 should give you 498 question number 2 part a complete the table so the first number is 4 then for 10 we need to add 6 to it then we add 8 to it then we add 10 to it so for the next term we need to add 12 to it which will give us 40 and then we add 14 to it to get 54 similarly here we are adding 4 then we are adding 5 then we are adding 6 so next we will add 7 which will make this 20, 26 and then we'll add 8 which will make this 34 all right clearing screen part B for the diagram n find an expression in terms of n for the number of small lines so we need the nth term for this like we just discussed this was 6 was being added then 8 then 10 and so on and here the difference is 2 so this is a quadratic sequence or second level common difference the nth term will be in the form a n square plus b n plus c a is this value divided by 2 so a is simply 1 n square we need to find b and c so write the original sequence again 4 10 18 28 subtract 2 1 n square from it 1 n square so the first term will be minus 1 because 1 times 1 square is 1 and since we are subtracting I'll write minus second term will be 1 times 2 square so minus 4 then 1 times 3 square minus 9 and then 1 times 4 square minus 16 when we add these or in other words subtract these we get 3 6 9 and 12 now this is first level common difference 3 is being added in these each case so the nth term will be 3 n and my first term right now is 3 and the actual first term here is 3 as well so I don't need to add anything to it so this is the nth term for this sequence so the final nth term for part b or the final formula for part b will be 1 n square plus 3 n or n square 
plus 3. Part C. The diagram R has 1, 0, 3, 0, 0 small lines. Find the value of R. So we already have the answer for part B which was n square plus 3n. Now since the question is saying diagram R, so I will change uh, n to R. So R square plus 3R has 10300 0, 0 small lines. So it is equals to 10300. 0, 0. Rearrange this, get your quadratic equation minus 10300 is equals to 0. Now we need two numbers that one, once multiplied together should give us minus 10300 and once added together should give us 3 and that would be minus 103 times 100. In fact no positive 103 minus 100 and 103 minus 100. So factorize it r square plus 3r minus 103 double zero is equals to zero. So r square plus 103r minus 100r minus 103 double zero is equals to zero. r is common. So r plus 103 then minus 100 is common. So r plus 103 is equals to zero. I am solving this directly r is equals to 100 or r is equals to minus 1 over th minus 103. The number of term can be can't be a negative number so we ignore this and r is equals to 100 is this the answer. You can always check your answer by substituting r, r is equals to 100 here and see if you are getting 10300. Part D. The number of dots in diagram n is a n square plus b n plus 1 and then the next part says find the value of a and b. So there are two ways of doing it. You may simply find the nth term of this sequence and check the value of a and b or you may use another method which is relatively more convenient. So I will teach you that. Uh, the number of dots in diagram n is this. So they have given part of the nth term of this sequence 4, 8, 13, 9. So when n is equals to 1 here, my answer should be 4, right? When n is equals to 2 here, my answer should be 8. So I will get two simultaneous equations. When n is equals to 1, I can write a plus b plus 1 is equals to 4. I have substituted n is equals to 1 here and I have used this. Next, when n is equals to 2, so a n square becomes 4a plus b becomes plus 2b, sorry, plus b n becomes plus 2b plus 1 is equals to 8. So I have substituted n is equals to 2 here and the answer should be 8. Now we are getting two simultaneous equations. We know how to solve this. Let us multiply this with minus 2. So we get minus 2a minus 2b minus 2 is equals to minus 8. Right? Then I write the next equation again plus b plus 2b plus 1 is equals to 8. Add these, b gets eliminated, we get 2a minus 1 is equals to 0, a is equals to half. Now substitute a is equals to half anywhere, I will substitute it over here. So half plus b plus 1 is equals to 4. Solve this, you will get 5 over 2 or 2 and a half. And 2 and a half. So these are your answers for part D. Question number 3. Complete the table 
for the fifth term and the nth term of each sequence. So let's fill up this first. So 9 plus what is equals to 5? 9 minus 4 is equals to 5. Then again minus 4 to get 1. Then again subtract 4 to get 3. Again subtract 4 to get minus 7. So we get minus 7 over it. Let's in fact make its nth term as well. Its nth term will be uh, write the common difference then times n. My first term right now is minus 4 because minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. The actual nth first term needs to be 9. So what needs to be added to minus 4 to make that 9? That is 13. So the answer is minus 4n plus 13. Please make corrections in the answer for this part. I think I wrote 14 over there instead of 13. Please make that correction. Alright. The next line 4, then 9, then 16, then 25. So this is 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square. So the next term will be 6 square which is 36. Now the actual sequence was... 1 square, then 4, then 9, then 16, then 25. So they've removed the first number from here. So the nth term will be not just n square, but n plus 1 whole square. Okay. The third line is 1, 8, 27, 64. So that's 1 cube, 3 cube, sorry, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube. So the next term will be 5 cube, which is 125. So the nth term will be n cube. Then in the last line we have 8 then 16 so we're multiplying each number by 2. So 64 times uh, 2 is 128 and the nth term will be the first term 8 times the common ratio 2 power n minus 1. This is also an acceptable answer. The answer in the answer space is 2 power n plus 2 which is actually equivalent to this. So you may just use this. We learn how to simplify it to the actual answer in next year. Inshallah. Alright. Next. Let me clear the screen. Part B. Part B, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. This sequence is a Fibonacci sequence. After the first two terms, the rule to find the next term is add the two previous terms. For example, 5 plus 8 is equals to 13. We've already discussed Fibonacci sequence in the first class. To get the third number, add the previous two numbers. So that will be 6. Now to get this number, add these two numbers. So that will be 10 and then 16 and so on. Now we have a lot of missing numbers over here. How do we find the missing numbers? Let's make a guess. The best way to do is, is by playing a guessing game. If this is 2, then this will be 3, this will be 5 and this won't be 11. This will be 5 plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my guess was wrong. Let's quickly make another guess. If this is 3, then 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 4 is 11. So this guess is right. In the last line, I'm going to guess 0. Then 0 minus 1 will be 0 plus minus 1 will be minus 1 and then minus 2 and then minus 3. So no, this guess was wrong. Let me try 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 is again 0 and no I'm not getting this 1 by adding the previous two terms. So let's try 2. 2 minus 1 is 1 then 1 minus 1 is 0 and then to get the final term add these two terms so yes we're getting 1. So this guess is right. Part C 1 over 3 then 3 over 4 then 4 over 7 then 7 over 11 then 11 over 18 Part 1, one term of this sequence is P over Q. Find in terms of P and Q the next term of this sequence. So the numerator is okay. We're doing C1. Sorry, my computer got stuck. Okay, C1. So 
define in terms of p and q the next sequence. So, the numerator is p and the denominator is q. Now, notice what is happening. This denominator becomes the numerator in the next part. And then this denominator becomes the numerator and so on. So, that means this q will go in the num numerator later. Right? So, the numerator is q. What about the denominator? How are we getting 4 by adding these two? How are we getting 7 by adding these two numbers? How are we getting 11 by adding these two? So, uh, how will I get this expression over here? By adding p plus q. So, the nth term is q over p plus q. Answer for part 1. And then in part 2, we simply have to find the sixth term of the sequence. So, 18 is the denominator over here. 18 will go in the numerator. And the denom for the denominator, add these two numbers. 11 plus 18. So, that is 29, which is the final answer. Okay. So, I know the schedule I sent you says a different so story, but... Today, this is all we're going to do. We've discussed the corrections, the homework corrections from yesterday. So, your homework for today is question number 4, 5, 6. And I will see you on Monday, inshallah. I hope you're all washing your hands as much as you can and staying indoors. Take care. Stay safe.